It's interesting uh, that you say that because I know uh, when Wout Berger talked, um, he gave his presentation that was part of our panel, part of the opening weekend, which was focusing on photography in the book. Um, that was one of the things he said at, almost at the start of his presentation, which was that uh, photography is made for the book and that he himself, as a, as a photographer, prefers to uh, make work for the book format. So it's really interesting that you should say that. Um, so just, just then, in terms of uh, just taking a, a little bit of a step back then, um, I'm, I'm just thinking about the, um, the context in which the catalogue was produced. As I say, it was through print-on-demand facility, which is a fantastic um, way in which uh, anybody can make their own book. Um, but clearly we wanted to work with you as a designer to actually design the book. Um, and I'm just thinking, I suppose, given what's happening now, we're in a state of flux uh, where there are th all these different options for the, ways in, for the ways in which anybody could uh, produce a book. And um, it's also impacting on how publishers work and operate. And that was certainly something that we talked about in the panel on photography in the book. Um, I suppose one of the questions that uh, um, I know we've talked about uh, is given that there is now this opportunity for a direct access to making a book, one's own book, are designers actually needed? Mm. Well, that, that's, that, that's very interesting. I think that's what was quite interesting about Blurb's presentation was this whole notion of artists now not needing a publisher, not needing an editor, taking control of their own work and presenting it how they want to. Um, which, you know, in my experience, some photographers are very good at making decisions about how to best present their work. Um, and others you know, um, aren't, and they're the first to say, well, I need, I need help with this, I, I need somebody that can look at this afresh, make editing decisions, um, and make decisions about, you know, this whole, how this book should be, um, you know, what sort of paper are we going to use, what format are we going to, you know, it becomes a, a collaboration quite often between the publisher, stroke editor, the designer, and the photographer. Um, and I've, in my experience, they, they've always been the best books I've worked with, is where, you know, more than, more, more than one mind has been brought to the project. Um, and... You know, that, that, that starts with the selection of images, that works with the sequencing of images. Um, and also, you know, as a designer, um, I think designer brings something to it other than that. You know, the work in the type is, um, you know, isn't an easy thing. Um, it looks easy, just like all work that looks easy is usually the most difficult, you know, that, that whole simplicity in design is the most difficult thing to do. Well, I mean, I think, I think it's interesting what you're saying about there being lots of different opportunities now, but if the end goal is to produce um, a publication that's, uh, that's, that's as, as you say, is going to be good, it's going to stand the test of time, um, then obviously bringing people into the... Um, into the production, um, people who've got experience and have got the right skill set, um, does, it does make a difference to the final look and feel of, the, of any book. Um, and you're absolutely right, good design, in a way, is hidden. Uh, you have, uh, you know, people engage with good design, they sort of have a sense that, uh, that, some, that what they're dealing with uh, invites them in, uh, creates a space for them to engage with the work. Um, but, uh, but, but, you know, in effect, good design is, becomes a hidden, a hidden part of, uh, of the equation because you, you're not aware of it because you're so engaged with the material. Um, so it's interesting what you're saying um, about the role of designers and also to some extent the role of publishers as well in producing um, uh, products and in, in steering and, and guiding uh, the production of uh, publications. Uh, 
and clearly uh, this uh, the knowledge and expertise is needed in in uh, producing a final finished product uh, although having said that it's still a great opportunity for anybody to be able to directly access um, uh, these a space where they can make their own book which obviously is what blurb is presenting and particularly for photographers um, who perhaps are wanting to compile uh, a collection of works uh, that they could present in a portfolio review situation especially um, just thinking then about about that um, we, we've talked about the importance of the role of design in the um, the look and the feel of a, of a publication in this case the biannual catalogue um, just thinking, uh, taking a step back then, thinking about uh, Blurb and the whole process uh, that Blurb presents as a print-on-demand facility, I mean, what, what advantages uh, did, uh, would you say that Blurb presents as a print-on-demand facility? Oh, I think it, it presents lots of advantages. I mean, I think the fact that the Biennial has done a catalogue um, has been made possible, really, by the fact that you could get those 50 copies, um, whereas, you know, finding another 10, 12 grand to get it printed um, may have not made that possible. Yeah, but um, yes, that, that would have been the traditional method, wasn't, wouldn't it? That you print, you print a certain number, like maybe 1,000 or 2,000 up front, because that's the minimum amount that you, well, that's normally the way in which things are done with traditional publishers. Yeah. Yeah, well, in 2006, we did a 1,000 copies, you know, traditional method. So if, if, if that finance isn't there, then it would be nothing. I mean, I, I guess once you've got the finished printed book and it's there, it's probably going to be easier to sell than um, relying on somebody going online and not really knowing what this is going to feel like. And, you know, and ultimately as a... As a single book, it's going to be more expensive. So, but you know, the opportunity there is to do it, so, which is fantastic. And I was really quite impressed. I was quite dubious at first um, at how good the quality of Blurb's print was going to be, and it did. It surpassed any expectation I had of it. So, so in terms of that using that blurb template, um, is that something that you'd be interested in working with again at, at some point in the future? Definitely, definitely. Um, I think, well certainly the, 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 the pace in which digital printing is moving is going to be interesting. You know, the idea that um, of only doing 100 copies, the idea of only doing 20 copies is, you know, it's not a problem now. Um, and I'm working with a printer in Exeter to do 20 copies of a small book um, and just see how that goes. Um, or working with students to produce you know, 10 students doing 10 books each, whereas before the notion of doing 10 books is, is ridiculous. Um, so, you know, whether it's with Blurb or whether it's working with a digital printer that can make 10 copies that you know, you've got, um, you haven't got the constraints of format, you haven't got the constraints so much on paper stock. Um, okay, you haven't got the same choices as you would do with traditional iPhone, but that whole idea of just making a handful of books um, and printing more as you need them, I think is going to be very interesting. Okay, well, thanks very much for that, Dean. Um, I think you're absolutely right. Uh, we're in a very interesting place in terms of the changes that are taking place uh, around the impact of digital on um, particularly how uh, publishing, the whole context of publishing takes place and uh, also in, and how we can approach uh, making individual books, um, whether it, you know your, your position as a designer or, or a the position of a photographer and just that the impact of the digital has really opened things up and made more opportunities. So um, thanks very much for your input Dean and it's been good catching up. Finally, uh, thanks to Skype, we've got an opportunity to talk face to face which we don't normally do. We're normally on the telephone 
uh, trying to catch uh, all sorts of uh, things uh, in terms of turning our print deadlines around. So thank you very much, Dean. It's uh, been great chatting with you today. Thanks. Thanks.